Hey, y'all. It's Spiritual Life Coach 43, and I'm here to give you the mid-month of February, your 2023 reading for the zodiac sign of Cancer. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome and blessings. If you are a returning viewer, watcher, and or subscriber, I'm sending you guys so much hope, success, happiness, luck, love, joy, all that kind of stuff. Welcome, welcome back, Cancers. You guys rock. You're awesome. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you are a cross watcher, I'm sending you prayers, healing, and blessings to you and to all of us here. Please remember that when it comes to any type of readings, that it's important that you guys first and foremost go to our Heavenly Father God, your spiritual team, your angels, healers, helpers, your guides, your loved ones on the other side for your most significant guidance at all times. Make sure that you guys focus on the energy and the messages and how it resonates with you in your life. Never ever force a reading. What is for you is meant to be for you and what is not. Please leave for somebody else, okay? Always use your discernment and your intuition. Connect with the most high. Trust and believe in him and believe in yourself. Know that you guys are protected by the divine. Trust in God and talk to your angels. Pray, meditate, all that good stuff, okay? Please continue to like, share, subscribe, and comment Cancers, you guys are wonderful about helping me grow my channel. I do see the growth and I cannot do it without all of you guys. So thank you so much for your love and support for always showing up and watching my channel. It means the world to me. If anybody wants to go the extra mile, the heart shape super thanks is below. If you want to donate, I do have PayPal and PO box information listed in the description box below. So thank you in advance for anybody who goes the extra mile and thank you all for just being here. That means, like I said, the world to me, and it really does. So thank you for keeping me smiling. You guys are awesome. Cancer, I do have my advice line still available. I'm still open for motivational reading, so please email me. If you email me and I have not got back to you and it's been a little while, please email me again just to make sure I did not miss anybody because I have some um, clutter that I'm getting rid of and I don't want to accidentally get rid of the wrong thing. So just um, check in if you need to. Also, I am doing an extended to this reading. So if you guys are interested, it will be $1.43. The link will be below. It will be the first link in the description box. Okay, so get in where you fit in. I mean, it's super affordable. So I hope you guys enjoy it. These readings are always deep and interesting. And so I hope you guys um, enjoy it. And please remember, when it comes to these karma readings, this is a reading in regards to the karma that people are receiving because they have wronged and betrayed you. It does get super deep. And um, I always encourage people to click off if it's not for you or if you can't handle it, you know, preserve your peace. Okay. Don't disturb your peace. Preserve it. All right. Everything's been prayed and meditated on. I don't plan to read any card in reverse. Let's jump in to your reading cancer. Now, your reading is interesting, Cancer, because I am getting tons of music downloads from the 90s. The first song I got was by Genuine, and it's actually called Differences. But a lot of you guys may know it based on the lyrics of My Whole Life Has Changed. Um, I'm hearing since you came in, you were, I knew you were the one, something like that. You are that special one, something like that. So you guys can look it up, but the song is actually from what I seen was called, um, differences, but, um, somebody's love sick about you. I feel like they didn't express how much they loved you or they didn't show you enough, but, um, the songs just keep coming. These are like mostly 90 songs. I think they're all 90 song songs, if I'm not mistaken. So shy came through as well. This was a, um, a boy group a guy group. I think there were men. So this was a, a men group and they did like R and B we're kind of like touching on R and B and soul here. So their song, if I ever fall in love again, you guys may want to look that one up as well or listen to it. Somebody I feel is listening to these songs in regards to you, or you guys may have met in the nineties. I'm getting like six of cups vibes. Your, your reading is totally different because this is an Oracle reading and I'm getting tarot and I'm getting music and all kinds of things. Um, you know, everything relates, everything in life relates. And also the third song that came through was Endless Love. This one came through last. This was, uh, with Luther Vandross. We love the great Luther Vandross. May his soul rest in peace. Incredible singer, incredible. One of the greats in my opinion. And, um, 
he he did the duet with Mariah Carey, and she's definitely one of the greats as well, in my opinion. So, um, two people I love a lot. So, you guys may want to look those songs up as you're interested in. Somebody is love love sick over you guys. Somebody is definitely love sick. It could be more than one person. So, let's jump in to see what Spirit has for you guys. Spirit, please come through as you always do for the zodiac sign of Cancer for the mid month of February, year twenty twenty three. All right, we're going to see what's here. So I'm going to pull the first um, 10 cards, and I'll do half the reading here. And then, of course, we'll jump into the um, extended, where I'll read the rest of the cards and give you that extended reading, all right, as you choose. So please give me just a few seconds to put all the cards out here, and I'm just going, going to show you guys the ones that I am... Um, being called to show for this reading. So the first five plus the um, overall message, which will be at the bottom of the deck. So you guys have disarm disharmony, disharmony, disharmony. So somebody has lost their peace. You were their peace of mind. You brought a lot of hope and serenity, compassion, love love. I feel like somebody lost the love of their life being you, Cancer, because they were so insecure. They didn't share how they felt about you. I feel like they're in deep regret. They're feeling it. It's like things were unsaid, unspoken. Or they, if they told you, they didn't show you. They didn't show you how much they loved you and still love you and probably always will. Because it feels like soulmate energy. So they don't have a lot of peace anymore. It's like you were so nurturing and giving and loving, just holding you, touching you, kissing you, being around you, talking to you. I mean, change their life, change their world. I'm hearing the genuine song again, the same song. Their, their whole life changed when you came in their life or came back in or re-entered somehow. It's like, Nothing is the same. Nothing. They were just so insecure. They feel like they didn't deserve you or they feel like you were too good for them. Something like that. It's interesting. Wow. Wow. Your energy here is heavy. I'm looking at your cards. 50 fold is jumping out. So somebody is reaping what they have sown 50 fold. Um, I feel like they don't want this out they don't oh my gosh i'm just looking at the table but anyways let me focus on this card so this is heavy you know this is not just 50 times it's 50 fold so they are losing everything that's how i know this was a spiritual like connection it was highly ranked because for them to experience this level of bad karma it's like they disregarded a contract with the divine. This is why they're in such disharmony. This person is kicking themselves. They're not happy with their choices. They should have never chose anything or anyone over you in regards to like love and friendship and partnership. I mean, God is always first, number one, first and foremost. And I feel like they knew who you were. They knew you were a soulmate. They may have said it. They may not, they may have kept it in, but um, they definitely knew who you were. They knew that connection that you have with them or you had is special and rare. And they were supposed to like protect it. They were supposed to raise their vibration and be at their best. Now they're facing a lot of bad karma and it is beyond heavy. I'm hearing miraculous. They feel like it would be a miracle if you took them back. Yeah. They feel like it would be a miracle. I, I don't even know which card to, to get next. I mean, you, there's a lot of like similarities in the cards that I'm looking at here. So just um, bear with me um, on this. Okay, so here's this. So they need loan money. So these people need money to pay back loans. They may come back asking you for a loan. And it's not that they don't love you. 
It's just that they are in distress and they will get money from anybody. And I said this, and I think this was either Virgo's reading. Who was before Virgo? I said this in somebody's reading, in one of these karma readings recently. I said that you never know what God will show somebody. It might have been Virgo, but I could be wrong. But anyways, you never know the blessings God will show somebody that you're going to get. And um, I feel like you are going to get an increase of money. And I see that here because here's financial happiness. They need a loan. They're down and out. They may have lost a job or some kind of opportunity or they gambled their money away or somebody stole it or took it. They made the wrong decisions and spirit and the divine is taking it from them. A part of their bad karma for mistreating you and hurting you, leaving you left out in the cold and just completely disrespecting what God brought together. So you guys will reap a good harvest, a great harvest of having financial abundance and happiness. So you guys will be happy um, getting your plus up and when more money come in. I feel like they feel it, they know it. And I, be I believe and I feel this. Many people around you know that you're destined for, for, I'm here for gold, meaning a higher purpose, meaning a golden path. You may have felt this as a child, um, cancer, that you would reap a beautiful harvest or you felt like you were supposed to be rich or that you were going to be in your life. I feel like you guys will be. For those of you on the good side of karma, you guys followed God's plan. You did your best. You learned your lessons. You went through. Um, some of you guys went through the dark night of the soul, but you came into the light. You came up and out of it and elevated and you started giving yourself self-love and self-appreciation uh, and growing. And so you're going to have a beautiful financial abundant harvest through the ideas that spirit sends you, a business flourishing. Um, some of you guys may win the lottery so or um, something like that. Never spend all your money on it, but a dollar or two, put a prayer on it and hope for the best. But somehow you guys will have you know, financial abundance, some kind of lucky streak. And I feel like these people already know what's coming. So a lot of people will have their hand out. Please use your discernment. Say less, say less. But like I was saying, you never know what spirit will show people for spirit's reason, because God works in mysterious ways. These people are demoted spiritually, meaning this was a spiritual contract, soulmate, soul tie, twin flame, something high, especially like a twin flame. I'm getting twin flame um, unions. I'm hearing we're broken, like broken contracts. So spirit could be sending you guys a new soulmate who was waiting in the wings, preparing for you just in case your person decided to go left. Unfortunately, they went left. So they lost their spiritual ranking and, um, they brought a lot of shame to their bloodline, to God, to spirit, to themselves. They know it. They feel it. A lot of gifts that they had, spiritual gifts, it's like they've been demoted, so they're turned off. Their third eye is not as sharp as yours. You guys are like healers. I'm hearing psychics. You guys um, do spiritual work. You guys can heal with your hands, your voice. You guys have spiritual gifts. So did they. But because they didn't use it for good, and they didn't combine to come and help and share with you. Now they don't have it. So this is why their money is gone or being depleted. Or they have to pay it out in courts or they're losing it all. Including the spiritual rank. And this was, this is huge. This was important. Like this was a, a divine partnership they were not supposed to play with at all. At all. This person could have dropped out of school or dropped out of college. They definitely dropped out of this union. Um, but they're, they're being faced to go through a, um, through a lot of turmoil. You know, I'm hearing their pride got in the way. They miss you. They love you. Many regrets are here. Many, many. They may have had a parent who dropped out as well or wasn't in their life like they should have been. Cause I'm getting, they were, um, I'm seeing that they were, um, they had a lot of childhood issues with family. Interesting. Pray for them. 
So they they copied the pattern of um of always leaving and running and hiding and all of that. It's interesting because I feel like I know I was only supposed to do five cards, but um this one here wants to come out heavy. So yeah, they were abandoned as a child. Maybe a father was absent or a mother or they didn't get the proper guidance they should have gotten, or they seem cheating and adultery, lying, mistreatment of one parent and absent parent. Some traits they repeated, some characteristics they, they repeated, they were supposed to change and elevate and upgrade, especially when you came into their life because you showed them balance, wholesomeness. You showed them somebody who was real, somebody who had a real heart, a big heart. I'm, I'm here like Queen of Cups, somebody who was well-balanced, sensitive, but very caring. Somebody who displays a lot of emotions. They don't have to be a water sign, but they could be, or they may have water in their chart like you. It's like this person... It's like you guys were supposed to guide them, but they didn't listen to the guidance. Somebody didn't step up. And I'm here for you guys. You guys can switch and reverse this reading where you fit. It's crazy because I want to keep going, but I, I know I'm supposed to save the rest for the um for the extended. But what I will do, because I've done this for the other readings, I will pull you guys a magic manifestation Message from the Midnight Oracle Shop. Let's see what Spirit has for you. This is what Spirit wants you guys to do, Cancer. Let's see. This is for Cancer Spirit. For Cancer. Yeah, somebody's lovesick over you. I don't even know if I wrote that in, in this deck. I don't remember writing that, but I, I probably will add it. But anyways, I'm always adding to it. This is for Cancer. What do you want them to do? Unplug is here. So it says, reduce negative influences, turn off the TV, delete apps, don't allow drama. How much calmer do you feel? Breathe with relief, with relief. I'm here, release want to come out. So you guys need to release, take deep breaths, release anything negative, negative thoughts, negative people, toxic patterns, toxic ways, get it out of your life declutter on your phones, declutter on your computers, rest more, be in meditation and in prayer. Your affirmation is, I let go of toxic people and things. Very self-explanatory. So unplug, you guys need to unplug and think. I do feel like this person is going to come back or they desperately want to, or they're trying to reach you um, spiritually heavy. So you guys may hear some of these songs that I mentioned you guys may have met in the 90s or you guys connect with loving R&B and um, love songs, something like that. But somebody's definitely lovesick over you. They're not proud of their ways and in action. I'm hearing inactivity, disrespect towards you. Okay. Cancer. You guys need to focus on unplugging, focus on your happiness, your peace and being calm. You should discern if anybody comes back, okay? Go to God, go to spirit, and focus on happiness, not drama. Happiness, okay? Happiness, happiness, happiness. Okay, Cancer, this has been your mid-month of February reading in regards to the karma that people are receiving for wronging and betraying you. I hope the messages in this reading resonate with all of you or as many of you as humanly possible. I am sending you all so much love and light, peace, respect, abundance, all that good stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. If anybody wants to go over with us to the extended, let's go. God bless all of you. Bye, Cancer.